Good evening. Somebody suggested soccer at 9.30. I'm not up for that, but uh, I think some might be. <laughs> you may be awake by then. Oh. ECS Ministries, Emmaus Correspondent School. Emmaus Bible School is how we're known primarily outside of the United States. Uh, in the United States, we go by Emmaus Correspondent School or ECS Ministries, and we are all of those things. We are the Emmaus Correspondent School. We are publishing. We do Sunday school material, and we do hymn books. And uh, at this point, I, I really, in the presentation, want to focus on education, as that's our subject this week. But just to do something in the publishing area, we published uh, recently two things. We are responsible for the United States Assembly Address Book. Looks like this has a list of every assembly that owns up to being one in the United States in here. Lists uh, camps, service organizations, commended workers. Uh, if you go by our table in the hallway on, in the, uh, next to the Marble Chapel, there is a free copy. There's a box there. Please take one and uh, use it uh, any, any how you like. Also, recently, we published a little book called Dear Muslim Friend. Jerry Mattox uh, has spent a long time in Turkey before he had to relocate, has a lot of friends who are Muslim, and he knows how to talk to them, and he knows the questions that they ask. So he's written it up. And if you, are, uh, if you have contact with Muslims and would like to use something like this uh, in a witness to them, if you know an organization that uh, does that, then please take one of these and get them to them and have them contact us. We want to get as many of these out to people who are working with Muslims as we can, and uh, they, they'll be available to them. So that's a free copy of this is also at the table in the uh, hallway for you if you'd like to go by and pick one up. And if you want to find out a little bit more about Jerry, talk to his dad who's with us. That's the history. You've probably had a chance to read that while I was talking, so we won't go on. We've been around since 1942. That's one year after Emmaus Bible School was established in Toronto, Canada. And uh, because of the Lord's blessing, we're still here. Course activity. Talk about course activity. We. Uh, Emmaus Correspondence Call is a kind of network. Emmaus Bible School is a network of people who use Emmaus Correspondence Courses. And my notes are in the wrong sequence. How can that be, huh? And we, uh, we use these all around the world, and I thought it would be a good idea just to tell you or show you how many courses are used each year. These are the statistics from 2013. They're not the statistics from 2013. They are the statistics from 2013. Somewhere in the world in 2013, 1,450,000 Emmaus correspondence courses were given out to people. That is an amazing number. What is probably more amazing is that 1,100,000 were returned for grading and commenting, marking, whatever terminology you use in your part of the world, and therefore established a student-tutor, student-grader relationship. And that represents 76%, which is really a, a significant Turn round, turn round for correspondence courses. Correspondence courses typically have uh, a, a return rate of somewhere around 15 to 20 percent. Correspondence courses make a lot of money by charging you for registration because they know you're not going to complete the course. So 76 percent is an amazing response, and the Lord has used correspondence courses throughout the world to do uh, a lot of different things. How do we get to that number? Well, first of all, courses are available in 120 languages. That, that's uh, not a very high number when you compare it to the number of languages that there are in the world. But this is really, really sensitive. Uh, the largest language distribution is, of course, there's English, and then there's Spanish, and it's French. 
A lot of courses go into French-speaking Africa, which is why French is on there. It's distributed in over 100 countries. And this is the fancy slide with all sorts of colors on it. I looked at the uh, attendees list. There's about 70 of us who were registered, and you come from 28 different countries. If you check through that list, 25 have an active Emmaus Bible course work. And I'm going to leave you to go through the list and try and figure out which three countries do not have an active work. And it's interesting that in those three countries, there has been an active work in the past. It's just that in 2013, there, it wasn't active. So that is really uh, quite an impressive list for the attendees here, you know, it's a good chance that there is an Emmaus work using a cor the courses in your country. Now why? Why can we say that 1.4 million courses get distributed? I mean, how is it that they are so popular? How can they be used in, s in such quantities? Bottom right hand corner there you see the word. Flexibility, a course which looks pretty much like this, no matter where you look at it in the world, consists of text and an exam. And it can be used in an amazing number of different ways. I've just listed a few here. There's individual study, obviously, but then there's a mentoring discipleship relationship. You sit down with somebody, you both read the text, both do the exam, you get together over coffee, Skip the chocolate brownie, that will not help you in your discussions. But you get together and you talk about the exam and you ask questions and you mentor disciple somebody. Group study. People use these in group studies. They read the text, they do the exam, and a group gets together and discusses. We, it, sometimes this doesn't help on the return rate, the completion rate. There's a group here in Dubuque that is going through one of our courses this summer, and there's 28 ladies in the group and we know that they will not do the exams. But they will go through the course and they will study it and they will use it. Group study, you can use them in group studies. Uh, small group, and that, that includes Bible classes. They can be used as a textbook in a Bible class. Church-based schools. You want to set up a church-based school, we've got this material. And the good thing about this material is you can trust it. It's written by Brethren authors, or authors who have signed our statement of faith and teach the same things that we teach. Bible conferences. You want to know how to use them in a Bible conference? Talk to our brother Jim here. He's just done it in Columbia. What, what was it, Second Peter, you taught? Got, got uh, 500, 600 people together. They all came, taught through that book, gave them the Emmaus course as a support to it, and they get students out of that, use it in Bible conferences. We use it in prison work in the United States, and so do many other of our associates, evangelism, of course, and uh, Bible scores. And you might be thinking, well, why Bible scores? That's uh, what they look like. It's because we, here in the United States, have developed some curriculums. If you're going past the table to pick up your free books, Pick up one of these, it's a brochure. It tells you what courses are in each certificate and each diploma. And you can see that uh, if you're starting up a fledgling Bible school and you want some textbooks, you want a curriculum, you want to have just the basics that you can use to start with and then expand on, you can do it with this material. It's a good starting point. It's not college level, although some of it is written by college faculty. But it's a good starting point for a Bible school if you're starting one up or if you want to start that church school I mentioned. This is ready to go. You can talk to us, talk to Jim about it for using it. Uh, we work with you to give permission to translate and to use. We can supply exams. We can supply ex answer keys so it can be graded easily. It's ready to go for you to start using in an educational manner and environment. Not only do we have the course material, texts and exams, but we have some textbooks. If you want to do a course on homiletics, The Preacher and His Preaching by A.P. Gibbs, excellent book, 
which is purchased from us by a number of small Baptist colleges here in the United States who use it as a textbook in their, in their colleges. Uh, he's written those, worship, personal evangelism, Lord's Supper, Christian baptism, solid, brethren-based, doctrinally true materials to use as textbooks in these sorts of classes. Maybe you're not interested so much in a Bible school, but you're interested in a discipleship program. We uh, have the O.J. Gibson material. You're probably familiar with it. It looks like this. That's some of the titles that are available in the series there. And again, they're designed for students to study the text, answer questions, and then you come together in a classroom setting over a, a period of time. You can do it in compressed form in two weeks, or you could do it weekly to do discipleship training. And you start off with survey of basic Christianity and it runs all the way through, gradually getting deeper and deeper in teaching about the Christian life and what it means until you get to living, di uh, living discipleship principles and then the, living, the dynamic church. And so all of these books are available for you to use to start doing some of this educational program that we have been talking about. Now we all know that E-learning has taken a big, uh, a big part of our st talk here. And uh, for our type of material, which is not accredited, it doesn't carry quite the weight. We have a different problem with the, the sort of way that we would enter the E-learning type arena. Uh, we're doing some of it uh, in, with George. He's doing some in Arabic. We've done this in English, and it's kind of a test program. You can download this app in your Android or Apple device. You can take what the Bible teaches completely free of charge, and you can work through some of our courses. One year statistics. You know, and then we sometimes think if you put it out on the internet, they will come. Uh, a bit of a play on words from Field of Dreams movie. If you build it, they will come. If you put it on the internet, they will come. Well, we have, this is our statistics. Uh, the app's been downloaded 2,908 times. But what is interesting is that, well, you can read it, only 46% of the people who downloaded the app downloaded the free course. Kind of an interesting, you think if you downloaded a Bible study app, you'd download the free course. Anyway, completion of the free course is only 9% of the downloads. Only uh, of the course, only 4% of the people who've actually selected the app. But of those who have completed it, we've seen 204 purchase courses. And we have seen in that we've traced certain people, once they get hooked on the system, they like it and they continue. This is uh, for us, we're, we're, we're evaluating what this means and uh, seeing how we can work this out worldwide. We have some issues of how we do it worldwide, but we're starting into this program, but it, you have to really think about the format. Dan Smith once said, if you put it on the internet, it's got to have color and movement, which is uh, an interesting definition, and I think he, in some ways he's right. You know, it's a different learning environment to just reading a textbook and answering some exams and, and responding to one person. This is what uh, ECS Ministries is doing, it's what we're doing through our correspondence courses in education. Good, solid material for you to start a school or a discipleship program or a church-based school. Talk to us about it and we would love to work with you and help you do those things in your location. Thank you.